never start off the best you can be. You know? So you don't have to be, you don't have to qualify for Wimbledon to start playing pro tennis. Maybe it's easier to understand it that way with that analogy, okay? Um, so don't think that you have to write like Neil or draw like Jim Lee to even get started. Um, the, I think if you're already writing and drawing, you need to try to get in and get your jobs right now, today, this time, right now. And take the attitude of, I'm going to grow up and get better in public. Um, so my advice is to try to get your first job at this show, right here. And if you can't get it with the big guys, then just try, try to meet your peers, somebody that is, um, if you're an artist, try to hook up with a writer that already has a story and a script and they're desperately looking for an artist. I mean, there are perfect matches for you here or somewhere in this show. If you can't find a match and a project here at this show, whether it's going to be published or not, whether it's going to be published to Kinko's or Image, um, if you can't find it here, then you're just not ready. Um, the, the difference between, and I've seen brilliant people, brilliant artists who are staying at home drawing on the kitchen table. And the reason is because they haven't flipped the switch in their head that says, I need to go to Comic-Con and talk to people and shake their hands and, and let them know about me. So the trick is, if you're a writer or an artist <coughs> in any capacity, and this is what you want to do, you need to get it straight in your head that you already have an audience for your work. There is an untapped audience out there of people looking for what you do. And it's now your responsibility to get that work out to them. You have two responsibilities as a creative person. One of them is to develop your craft. Another one is to make sure that the world sees it. So if you spend all your time drawing and now you're ready to go public, spend this con uh, doing the public thing. Let everybody know who you are. I'm one of the most shy people you would ever meet. If you see me in Houston, you know, I would never say hi first. Uh, but I have a booth here, and you know, I put my face out and I talk to people and all that because it's more important to me that people read SIP than I be comfortable. <coughs> you know what I mean? So leave your artistic insecurities and shyness in high school, and once you get ready to go out in public, do it. Go for it. Just let people know who you are and show everybody. When I was in the first year of SFU, when I was trying to get it popular, I would show it to everybody. And that means people that, that would not give me the time of day. People that would, if I passed them in a parking lot, I would be at risk of them beating me up. <laughs> <laughs> I look so different from them. But I would walk up to those people and say, look, I'm doing a comic. And it's amazing how the ice instantly melts. And you know, you walk up to a Hells Angel and say, I'm doing a comic. And say, cool, show it to me. Now, we show up the comic and they go, yeah, "Yeah, this is cool." So who do you work with? No, nobody yet. Well, you know, I know a guy that works for Image. Come over here. I'll introduce you. And that's how it happens. There was a guy yesterday that walked up. You may have seen him. I'll, I'll out him because he's here to be outed. Um, there's a guy. Uh, really neat looking young man, a kid, probably about 21 years old, and he wears a cowboy hat and a uh, belt, belt buckle because he's the real thing. He really is uh, a cowboy from Alberta, Canada. And he has come by for the last three or four years and shown me his art portfolio, and he has just gotten so good in the last four years. He showed it to me yesterday, and um, I wanted to be sure to pass on to him my enthusiasm for his efforts and just let him know You've really got something here, um, and it's time to go to work. And uh, this page still looks amateurish, but this one is totally original. You really are able to do this kind of thing really well. And uh, I started giving him names. And uh, if I could have left the booth, I would have walked him around and introduced him to some people. So that's how you do it. Um, just go out and start meeting. Start first. Start off by meeting all the people you like, and then meet all the other people. <laughs> uh, you're not trying to make a circle of friends, you're just trying to uh, grow your readership. So. And, and if you're lucky, that becomes one and the same.